Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, we got Kanye on Haiti. NLE Chopper has a prediction, don't do it bruh. Cardi B going into comedy. Dr. Dre's daughter with words for 50. <laughs> I mean, he was talking about her moms, what do you expect? And Rick Ross on Tory Lanez again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, you're lucked out. Be sure to congratulate yourself by hitting the thumbs up icon. Touch the subscribe button so you can skip the line and get this goodness when it's straight out the furnace. And yo, there's a hidden bell icon amongst all the fanfare, right? If you spot it, touch it. Yo, Eddie Blue Jr., we be seeing you in the celeb section, homie. Respect. Much love to Ken Jun, who was spotted holding it down in the UK. Latin black mommy. Yo, we see you. Respect. And Tony Metro, them cats you was talking about are heavyweights. Man, we just got here. Now. We gonna set you off right with some good news for today. So stepping off the plane is Kanye West. That's right, Kanye has officially touched down in the first black country to gain its independence, which is Haiti. Yeah, that's right. What is it, 1804 or something like that? Now, this is fascinating considering that it is also the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, which may be part of the reason why Ye decided to come through to begin with. Now, Kanye didn't immediately reveal his reasons for going to Haiti, but you know how reports always leak out, right? Well, reports stated that he met with the Haitian president during his visit, and according to Haiti's tourism ministry, Kanye visited a plant breeding facility and Daily Mail let us know that he was speaking with the U.S. Open Tennis Champion, Naomi Osaka. Yeah, respect. But we know that social media always gets down to the nitty gritty and provides us with the details to everything that goes down. It's, it's like we don't even need the news. Social media got the goods. And in this case, the goods are that Kanye West is building, get this, a city. Yeah, you heard me. Kanye West has revealed in the visit that he is building a city. Yo, take a listen. Yeah, I struggled uh, to hear it too. You know what I'm saying? Now, your boy was a bit soft spoken, right? But I was able to decipher what he said. And his response to the question, Did you come here specifically? was, Yeah, we're building a city. Respect. Yo, see, th this dude ain't playing. I mean, I could dismiss a lot of the antics my boy does. When, when he comes through like this, there should be no reason why the first independent black country right should still be getting the business i'm mean, I mean, in a bad way financially you heard of akon city right well presenting yay city or <laughs> your city that's our name though so if kanye winds up calling it your city i want celeb source the name of celeb source engraved on the seventh break okay nle chopper or as some like to call him, NLE Chakra. And as much as I would like to take credit for that, credit is not mine. Now look, perhaps you haven't heard, had breakfast. Oh, perhaps you, have, perhaps you haven't even heard of breakfast. But if you have heard of breakfast and you didn't eat it yet, you're like, yo man, it's nighttime, celeb. Ain't no breakfast right now. It's late, bruh. Whatever. If you're watching this in the morning, welcome to Cooking with Chopper. NLE, take it away. You see that? Your boy ain't playing when it comes to eating right and taking care of his body. Now I'm chalking it up to some savage content on YouTube he bumped into, but check this out. Your boy has predicted, right, that the sun, the sun, like in the sky, the sun will disappear for three days. That's right, take that in. He said the sun is going to disappear in three days. And I'm pretty sure he don't mean like it's gonna be cloudy. Your boy decided, right, to post the following on Twitter. He stated, December 21st, or around that time, gave himself a little bit of wiggle room, the sun will go down for three days. If you haven't been meditating, grounding, eating the right food, or just doing spiritual work, period, you might not make it to the new earth that's forming. Close quote. Now I'm going to have to stop you right here, big dog. First off, right, I love the fact 
that you're choosing not to rap about violence anymore. You follow me? I mean, I was starting to get sick of dudes telling me about the myriad of ways they were gonna murder me and how everything I have and love is gonna get sprayed up, okay? So, respect for that. Now, let me preface it, uh, let me preface it with that. Now, just in case you are not aware, unless you're actively involved, right? Predicting exact dates for cataclysmic events is not good, bro. Historically, when dudes do that, it don't play out that way and everyone disregards anything else that they have to say on subjects like that. That's a good way to become a laughing stock and haters would love to hate on you going in a positive direction as is. Here's the other thing, right? If you type in December 21st, sun disappears, I'm almost positive you'll start to find all kinds of predictions about what's predicted to go down on December 21st. And as you start to look that stuff up, the net will feed you more information along that train of thought. Remember, it's called a feed. Thirdly, this new earth that's forming, right? Let me get this straight. If I go to Wingstop, I'll be ill-prepared for the new earth? Let me leave that one alone. Check this out. Date setting is rarely a good sign, but <laughs> let me complete this poop sandwich, okay? Your positivity at this point and you're going against the grain is something 80% of artists right now would be too shook to attempt. So hopefully that courage that you're displaying NLE stays with you for a long, long time. Do you think Cardi B has what it takes to be a comedian? Well, apparently, Chris Rock disagrees with you. The comedy legend who brought Pookie to life on the silver screen was caught in an interview with Jimmy Fallon and stated, in his opinion, that Cardi B is the second best comedian after Dave Chappelle in the ranks with Bill Burr. Yo, these are titans of comedy. Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr. Now you can add Cardi B in there. Now, in case you didn't know, right? Dave Chappelle is the comedian's comedian. Chris Rock stated the following. He said, quote, Cardi B, I saw like on some YouTube thing or whatever. Again, my kids showed me this Cardi B girl and she didn't have a record out or anything like that. And I was like, yo, okay, we should go show it, right? I I'm not even gonna say to what network. So I went, me, Cardi B and her management, you know, to kind of like get a show going, close quote. Now, your boy even stated, that Cardi tried to tell him that she was interested in a music career. He was like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. We ain't really interested in all of that, okay? He continued on and said, quote, I think Cardi B is the funniest woman or one of the funniest people, you know? You know? It's like Chappelle Cardi, right? Like in the standings right now, like who are the funniest people in the world? Cardi's right up there. She's neck and neck with Bill Burr. Yo, if y'all don't know about Bill Burr, right? Like, I mean, honestly, he's one of my favorite comedians. You got Dave Chappelle. When I go, when I go on YouTube, I go to Dave Chappelle, watch those links. I watch Bill Burr. The man has me in stitches. A little vulgar, a guilty pleasure of sorts, but one of the best comedians, hands down, no questions. Anyway, he says he continued on the set like she's good, man. Bill puts a little more writing into it, but Cardi can hang with anybody. You see that? Close quote. You see that? You didn't even know that. I gave you that little piece of information, man. If you didn't do it already, give us a thumbs up, man. Yo, 50 has been pretty vocal about Dr. Dre's divorce. And the fact that Dre's estranged wife is asking for spousal support to the tune of two million. Now, 50 posted something along the lines of these bees be crazy how do you even ask for two million a month close quote and perhaps he forgot that the woman he's speaking in reference to is someone's mom's yes dr dre's daughter who happens to be a model of sorts has decided to hit 50 with a response to his post you're like wait a minute she's a model of course she is and shorty stated the following she said in response to 50's post quote Haha, <laughs> coming from an ugly washed up early 2000s rapper who filed for bankruptcy and is only envious of my family's wealth and lifestyle. 
Have fun spending the rest of your savings on steroids. F you. Close quote. Ooh, burn. Now, Exhibit also commented with a WTF on 50's post. So Dre's daughter, Truly, brought the smoke to him as well. No, no, no. Truly is her name. She brought the smoke to Exhibit and stated, quote, Wow, Alvin. Y you know, whenever they use your real name, you're in trouble. Wow, Alvin, after everything my parents have done for you and your family, this is how you respond to a picture of my parents and I and a quote calling my mom a B? F you. Close quote. <laughs> Sounds like he won't be showing up to the family reunion. Now, if you thought your girl was done, sis was just getting warmed up. Shorty came through with a post directed at your boy 50, stating the following. She said... Quote, the blatant misogyny, misogyny, what, I, misogyny, the blatant misogyny and disrespect by ignorant men that is being shown is absolutely effing disgusting and vile. Calling my mother, my dad's wife, a B is unforgivable. You have no respect for me or my siblings. And this is extremely evident. 50. Your marketing schemes are as low life and disgusting as you are. Using a photo of my parents and I solely to gain attention for yourself exemplifies a lot of the things wrong with the world right now. You disgust me. And I can speak for women of my generation as well. You are furthering the problems. Everyone already knows that you're a penis. I mean, she ain't say penis, but you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be good. But you just proved it yourself. Close quote. Mm. You know, it's funny. It doesn't matter whether you have goon status or not, fellas. The ladies will bring the lighter to your behind. Now, 50 did respond to Dre's daughter. I, I, I know, I know. He, I mean, he, he has to, right? It's in his genetic coding at this point. Your boy responded to Truly's statement by saying, quote, Dr. Dre's daughter just told me to shut the F up with an emoji with the zipped lips. LOL. Nah, no clap back. I'm going to need Dre to make the beats. New music coming soon. Close quote. You like new music coming soon. Th that's not the point of the story, bruh. The point was that Dre's daughter was saying, forget it. And finally, Rick Ross has provided his insight to Tory Lanez dropping his Megan response in his new album. And it's exactly what you could have expected. Now, Celeb Source found the response of Tory Lanez pretty and the timing of it pretty distasteful but you didn't come here to hear what we think about daystar's timing rick ross had this to say take a listen tory lanes poor decision brother dropping that project just out of respect for brianna taylor just out of respect for brianna taylor brother we got to respect these sisters that ain't how you address that tory lanes poor decision brother Dropping that project just out of respect for Breonna Taylor, bruh. We got to respect these sisters. See, that's what I was saying, man. The timing. Look, the right note. Write this down. The right note at the wrong time is the wrong note. You see what I'm saying? All the piano keys are good. But they're good in so far that they're played at the right time. But your boy Rosé wasn't done. Minutes later, he added, quote, I bought a car for Tory Lane. Heard your ish just went double acrylic on that pit. And then he added this video. Take a look. Hey, I just bought a car for Tory Lanez. I got a gift for your album release, homie. That's you. He just keeps on giving, right? Double acrylic. Ain't that like triple saran wrap? Yo, it kind of sucks to be in that dude's position right now. Tory Lanez had a response now to Rick Ross, which said at Rick Ross, I respect you too much as a black man to disrespect you in these times. However, I went out and marched nine days straight for Breonna Taylor in your city. I didn't see the boss out there once. <laughs> you can call him an employee. Also, stop tagging your endorsements in posts about her. It's a poor decision. You like, word? That was quick. Yeah, I noticed that, right? Notice your boy added the statement, stop tagging your endorsements in posts about her. It's a poor decision. <laughs> the pot calling the kettle black, I know. Surely Rick won't have anything to say about that, right? 
Wrong again. Rick Ross addressed your boy as Lil Boy and stated the following. Yo, take a listen. First off, Lil Boy, I appreciate how you responded swiftly to Rose, but that's how you should have did the sister that accused you of shooting her. That's what you owed her family. That's what you owed all the black. Boy said, poor, a poor decision is putting together an album and trying to profit off some ish. People like myself was waiting for you to address this ish and move on. Close quote. Now, it's only fair to note that Tory Lane's camp has stated that the release of the album Daystar marks the anniversary of his mother's death, which is also the date of her birth. And they stated that a portion of the profits from that album will be donated to organizations supporting women, children, and victims of violence, as well as the Breonna Taylor Foundation. Close quote. Now, let us know what you think. Why a response to Raw so quick, but the response about the lovely lady so slow? And do you think 50 is set to drop another album? And what prediction in history can rival that of the prophet Daniel when he told us about the arrival of Jesus of Nazareth? I'll wait. Yo, let us know what you think. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.